What's up guys, Adam Middlesworth here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you top retargeting strategies for real estate agents in 2019. Uh, we're gonna go over the exact ad that you can run to a cold audience, so somebody who has never heard of you. And then we're going to show you uh, basically the retargeting strategy that we use for listings, right? So um, every single ad that we do, we have a retargeting ad or a remarketing ad that is paired with the cold audience, um, the original ad that you're running, right? So if you've ever shopped on Amazon or you know online for other items and you've gone off of that site onto other sites and you see those exact same things that you were shopping for on those other sites, that is retargeting, that is remarketing, right? You're seeing them over and over and over again. And I call that this the omnipresence effect where you can stay in front of them over and over and over again, and you can basically uh, become an authority in your area uh, just by people seeing your ads over and over again. So we're gonna hop right in here and create our first ad. And what we're gonna do here is create a lead generation ad. I would recommend this for everybody who is new to Facebook advertising, um, new to online marketing. You don't have to have some landing page software it's just really easy to create a lead generation campaign because a lead generation campaign you have a form within Facebook you can you can have the lead fill out their name uh, their email their phone number and even more information than that so uh, we're going to just use a lead generation as our objective we're just going to call this listing example and then we'll click on continue <clears throat> we're just going to use uh, this name. I would just use your, your Facebook page. I would call it uh, your name and just leave it at that. You can call it like Adam Middlesworth Realtor, EXP Realty or whatever you want to do. Um, but I would just leave it with your name. You will need to accept the Facebook lead ads terms. So click view terms, accept and go from there. And then here we're going to choose our audience. So we're going to choose a cold audience with this, right? So we're going to say everybody in this location we want people who live in this location and we're just going to choose um, let's do my hometown we're gonna do Marion Indiana right so we've got a 25 mile radius you can see that our reach is about 210 people um, you know it's not outlandish for somebody to move you know 15 20 miles right you could stay in the same school district uh, where I'm from if you move 10 15 20 miles so um, that's not outlandish to put 25 miles here and then we can put at the age I would do um, 25 in this area and then um, I wouldn't even put in a language I would exclude National Association of Realtors so I would try to exclude everybody there who is a real estate agent Uh, National Associated Realtors. Okay, so we've got both of those interests. That lowers it down to 160. Um, and then we can scroll down here, edit placements. I want only the Facebook and Instagram feeds uh, and stories. And I'll include Marketplace. What we found is Marketplace, people are already shopping. And, you know, sometimes there are homes in there. So Marketplace is a really cool option as well. And then we're going to choose the budget. In this area, I would choose $10 a day. That'll get you more than enough. We're gonna click on continue. And then from here, um, you'll wanna choose your image and go through all of that, right? So um, I'm going to try to use an image that we already have just to keep it simple. So let's just use this one, <clears throat> excuse me. And then in the text for, for listing, we're just gonna do featured listing. Uh, in Marion, right? And then what we do here is say tap learn more for more photos, price, and location. And then what I would do is this home uh, features, and then I would choose feature one, feature two, feature three, and then add that same call to action and then choose headline, right? So I would just say view more photos here or now, right? And then what you'll do is choose a landing, or a, excuse me, a lead form. So I've already created one for the listing. It says get instant access to more photos, price and location um, of this home by providing your details uh, below. And once they do, 
they become a lead, right? And then on the thank you page, we send them to a messenger bot. I've done videos on that in the past. Uh, that's not the purpose of this video. So once you have this ad, you're just going to click on continue. Make sure that you've got your Facebook pixel that you want to use. So uh, for this, you would have Adam Middlesworth Real Estate Agent Facebook pixel because what we want to do is we want to create an audience based around people who click on this ad, right? So we're going to click on confirm. And once that's confirmed, I'm going to go and create a pixel so that we can retarget everybody who is um, who is, sees this ad, right? So we're going to go up to Ads Manager, click hover over all tools, and then go to Pixels. I'm going to open that in a new tab. We can also go to Audiences, so click on that, making sure we have both of those covered. So under Audiences, you're going to go find your Facebook Pixel. And then we're going to create an audience based around that. So I think I used a test account. I did. And then we're going to create our audience based around people who viewed that lead form, right? So if somebody clicks and views that lead form, we want to use that audience. So we're going to click on create audience, uh, create custom audience, and then you want um, engagement, right? So we want people who viewed our lead form. So click on lead form. And then you'll choose the lead form that you use. So I think we used Adam Middlesworth. Not anybody who opened this form in the last 90 days. And then you would go and select a specific form. So we used a listing example. So basically everybody who goes and clicks on that lead form goes into this custom audience. So we would just say listing example audience. And we can create that audience, right? <clears throat> so everybody who's viewed that uh, lead form in the past 90 days will go into this audience. And then we are done there, right? So, and then what we want to do is we want to run a retargeting ad to everybody who viewed that lead form, right? And then what we want to do is create a ad around this listing example. Uh, so we can do, um, if you have a price reduction on the property, you can do that. If you have an open house, you can do that. Uh, if you have a lender that you work closely with, you can do a lending campaign based around that. right? So I'm going to create a, another ad here. And I'm going to choose, I personally love doing Messenger uh, for all of the retargeting ads that we do so that it's, it's really easy for them to become a lead. So I'm just going to keep this messages example. I'm going to click on continue. And then we're going to click the messenger. Uh, and then what we want to do here is go and use the custom audience that we have. So you're going to choose a listing example audience, which is everybody who viewed the lead form, right? So we're going to choose that. And then what we're doing is we're targeting people who viewed that lead form and just those people, right? We don't need to do anybody, anything else here in the ad set except for choose our placements. For all retargeting that I do, I just keep it automatic. I go with all of the recommended and then I choose a really small budget. I would do two to five dollars, click continue. And then from here, you'll create your you know, price reduction ad, you'll create your open house ad and go from there. Guys, so that is a retargeting strategy for real estate agents. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more content, make sure that you click on the subscribe button and click on the bell so that you get notified when a new video is released. Alrighty guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.